So today is part four of my top coins to hold from now until 2018. I'm gonna tell you what the coin is, what their idea is, and then why I think you should hold from now until the end of 2018. Well, let's get started. <laughs> Hey there YouTube, I'm Jean with CryptoPix. Before I get started, I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers, all my old subscribers, and everybody that's watching. I appreciate all of you. I know I've been kind of slacking on videos lately, just life's been going crazy. And again, just thank you all for your support. Also, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button. Greatly appreciate it. I love all you guys. Thank you again. So my first coin is one of the most hype coins this month. And there's been tons of videos on, and I just made a video on this one the other day. It's Lisk. Lisk is a blockchain application platform built that enables developers to create, distribute, and manage decentralized blockchain applications by deploying their own sidechain linked to the Lisk network. Lisk's idea is that every blockchain app is on its own sidechain, completely separate from the main chain. So what is the Lisk coin used for? Lisk uses a delegated proof of stake, meaning every Lisk holder can vote for a main chain delegate, which are securing the network. There are only a max of 101 active main chain delegates, which always have the most votes on the whole network. And only they can earn block generation rewards, which means there's actual financial incentive to become an active delegate. Also, Lisk is used for fees to generate transactions and to use the system. Again, I have a video on this exact coin I just made a couple days ago and I'll link it above. So why would you want to hold Lisk from now through 2018? First is their partnerships. Lisk is already partnered with one of the most sought after companies, Microsoft. Also their whole project idea is to lower the entry barrier to blockchain by allowing developers to use some of the most popular program languages out there. JavaScript, Node, CSS, and HTML for the front end. And their biggest positive is their announcements and super ambitious roadmap. We have inception, resilience, expansion, ascent, and eternity portion of the roadmap, which you can read a lot more details on their blog slash medium. I, I highly recommend going there for a bunch of information. And then November 22nd, they're supposed to have huge announcements coming up. People are speculating the SDK release, partnerships, and rebranding announcements. So the real question, is Lisk the top coin for 2018? Let me know what you think in the comments. Now for my next token, one that I actually enjoy using their browser, basic attention token or BAT. So BAT is a token for decentralized ad exchange. BAT connects advertisers, publishers, and users creating a new efficient marketplace. But to understand BAT, we need to know a bit about the browser it's used in. Brave is a fast, open-source, privacy-focused browser that blocks third-party ads and trackers and has a built-in system ledger that measures users' attention to reward publishers accordingly. So reasons that I like Brave. Number one, there's no ads. Not only do you get all your ads blocked, you actually can see how much time you save by, by not having ads. Also, it's just so much easier to use my MetaMask and Ether Delta. I have so many issues with Chrome. It's not even funny. That's actually the main reason why I originally went to Brave and I love this browser. It's also beautiful. It's very user-friendly, super easy to use. The only negative I could really find about this is I can't add the extensions that Chrome has. Supposedly there's a way to do it, but it's super complicated. I didn't even want to give it the time of day and I'm sure any normal user wouldn't want to go through that. Hopefully in the future they fix that. Other than that, great browser and one that easily competes with Chrome, Mozilla, Firefox, especially Internet Explorer, come on now. And also if you're a cryptocurrency enthusiast, great browser to use. So what is the BAT token used for? As I said earlier, it's pretty much to connect advertisers, publishers, and users creating a new efficient marketplace. So why do we want to own basic attention token? First, their team. I mean, let's just start. Their co-founder, Brendan Eath. I think that's how you say his name. This guy created JavaScript. 
come on now. And he was the co-founder of Mozilla and Firefox. If this isn't one of the best superstars out there, then I'm not sure who is. Other co-founder, Brian Bondi, worked at Mozilla as a senior engineer. Then Yan Zhu, she was a privacy engineer at Yahoo and was on Forbes 2015 30 for 30. And the rest of their team is super impressive. We've got people from Microsoft, AOL, Apple, Trend Micro, GrowDaddy.com, Intel, and Yahoo. This could possibly be the best team I have yet to look over. Also, it's super unknown. Most people don't even know about the Brave browser. Even the people inside the cryptocurrency world. I only literally just started using this because of all the issues that I was having with Chrome with my MetaMask. Next, we have Brave's partners. They have Coindesk and BitGo. I'm sure they're going to add a bunch more later. Also, they have a lot going on in 2018. You go to their roadmap, super detailed, kind of technical, so it might be kind of under, hard to understand, but you can see that 2018 could be huge for this company, especially if people like you and I start using their browser. And actually, one of the biggest reasons why I love Brave, so they take out all the ads, so people like me, YouTube content creators, aren't gonna get money from YouTube because, of course, ads aren't being used. But with Brave and the BAT token, you can actually pay let's say me, Superman, Crypto Daily, per person. Like we can actually pay us by the videos you see, which is great because then it's gonna bring out way more quality content instead of quantity. Right now I see so many YouTubers just like, let me hash out videos five a day, six a day, just because they know that's gonna get them a lot more subscribers and a lot more views. But if quality was the priority because you get paid based off of what the users decide is worth paying, I think that could just change the whole sector completely. Also, there's so many little cryptocurrencies trying to do this, and this is pretty much saying, forget you guys, we're just gonna do it all together on one browser. And then our final token, one that everybody kept asking me for, like, how do you not have this on there? IOTA. So I'm gonna admit, I actually had a hard time putting IOTA on this, this list, and it's mostly because I didn't do very much research on this coin, just because the market cap was so high, so I didn't really have huge interest in it. But the more I research it, the more I'm just blown away by their whole idea. So IOTA is a next generation public distribution ledger that utilizes Tangle at its core. So Tangle has no blocks, no chain, and no miners. Pretty much it's completely and fully decentralized. So for more info, you can check out IOTA's blogs because Tangle is a super confusing subject, takes a bunch of time. I, I don't wanna have to go through all that with you. Go check out their blogs. You'll get a bunch of information. So IOTA believes they are the missing puzzle piece for the machine economy to reach its desired potential. They envision IOTA to be the public permissionless backbone for the Internet of Things that enables communication between all devices. So IOTA is unique due to its architectures. We get scalability. Because of its paralyzed validation of transactions, there is no limit as to the number of transactions that can be confirmed in a certain interval. That's huge. Next, no transaction fees. Again, huge. We all see Bitcoin transaction fees, come on now. Then we have quantum immunity. They utilize this through a newly designed trinary, which has the function called curl. And finally, as I said earlier, decentralization. IOTA has no miners, so every participant in the network that is making a transaction actively participates in the consensus, making IOTA more decentralized than any blockchain can. So what is the IOTA coin used for? I had a bit of a hard time finding the need for MIOTA or MIOTA, whatever you want to call it. It seems the token is need to perform payments with the IOTA technology in between IOTA wallets. So what makes IOTA great from now until 2018? Actually, I believe IOTA is gonna be a super long-term project. Again, that's one of the reasons why I had a hard time picking it for 2018. This one I think will be huge, 19, 20, 21, 22. Let's just start off with the project idea. IOTA is based on a directed acyclic graph, which is Tangle, which I mentioned earlier, which is not the blockchain. Again, IOTA has no mining or blocks or transaction fees. It scales almost infinitely unlike blockchains iota wants to enable the machine economy and there's just so much more and then next one of the biggest part in the backbone of iota we have the tangle ledger this is a third generation distributed bit ledger based on directed acyclic graph this this concept is 
so confusing and it can be so lengthy. So I'll, again, I'm just going to let you check it out. There's an article about it on IOTA. They got a bunch of blogs about it. You can just Google it and just get so much more information than I could kind of tell you right now. And then finally, IOTA's roadmap. As you can see, they have a lot of things going for them and they have already started developing majority of their items and testing many of these. I think in 2018 will be super interesting and an exciting year for Internet of Things, just the technology in general with IOTA leading the way. Well, that is my part four of picks from now through 2018. Tell me what you think. Do you agree with these three picks? What do you think about Brave or Bat? I feel like so many people don't know about it. I would love to hear your opinion. Do you think it's going to be huge? Do you think it's a wasted opportunity inside of a browser it's pretty unique i don't know if there's anything out there like it at least in the cryptocurrency space let me know thank you again for watching also don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button let me know if you want to make one more video if so it would be my final one if not i'll leave it here completely fine with that thanks everyone and i'll see you next time